Hey guys, welcome to ITS Tactical. Today we're going to be taking a look at our brand new trauma kit pouch designed exclusively by Zulu Nylon Gear to hold our ETA kits. So let's take a look at this, we'll zoom in and I'll show you all the features and functionality of the brand new pouch. Alright, so hopefully you guys are familiar with our ETA kits that we manufacture at ITS Tactical. Um, essentially these are our trauma kits and we wanted to design a pouch that would not only hold our sealed kits because these are vacuum sealed, um, so not only hold the sealed kit but to be able to be immediately accessed both in the seal kit or with the loose contents as you see here. So basically what we did is we worked with Zulu to design a lightweight pouch that was going to provide really quick immediate access to the medical components that are contained within the kit. So basically with this big red pull handle we are able to create a pouch that just rips down and that design is kind of taken from what we had designed with Zulu already which is the med insert that attaches to our discrete messenger bag so that you can pull that pocket down for immediate access to those components as well. So we wanted to take that concept and apply it into a pouch. So as you can see through in the rear here, and our little dummy here, that's how our sealed kit fits into the pouch. Um, it fits in that large opening pocket in the back. Um, you've still got access to put other components as well if you want to store other things in the pouch. Um, but we wanted to make a couple of kind of advancements that we've been seeing in the industry lately, which are um, some things we really are paying attention to, which is user replacement. So if you're out in the field, um, you don't want to have an elastic strap stretch out on you. You don't want to have to worry about having to replace that. You don't want to have to worry about the standard PALS webbing and molly that's ingrained with snaps and buckles and things that can break in the field. So what we did is we we decided to make a pouch that utilized malice clips, and these are made by Tactical Tailor. We do include two of these in each pouch that's sold. You can also carry you know, one of these around in your spare parts kit while you're out too, so this could be replaced in the field if one of them does go bad. I've honestly, we watched the video that Millspec Monkey did the other day on a Tactical Tailor shop tour. They said they've had you know, one or two warranty requests on these things since they've been making them for years, and they've churned out tons of these, so these are definitely proven. So that's the attachment system we went with, or the malice clips. Um, again, as you can see from the design that we originally made for the med insert from our messenger bag, we went with that same shock cord design to hold some of the components here. So you'll see is on this kit, you can see that they're all nice and secure in the, the, uh, the shock cord there. So again, user replaceability, that's where the shock cord comes into. Um, even the cord lock can be replaced, the entire shock cord string can be replaced out in the field if it does stretch. Um, shock cord is pretty dependable, you're not going to worry about that too much out in the field. Um, as opposed to, you know, the standard old school design of using this elastic webbing that can wear out. And, you know, that's really what we want to do is eliminate anything that could wear out on a pouch. So these pouches are coming in at 4.2 ounces actually without the malice clips. With the malice clips they come in at five and a half ounces. Um, to, for example, this uh, Eagle medical pouch that you see here is roughly six and a half ounces. So, and this is thousand D cord dura. So you can see that there is some weight savings uh, when it comes to utilizing 500 D. Uh, is it as durable? We think so. Um, 500 D has been proven out in the field. Obviously you're not going to get as much uh, wear resistance that you will out of 1000D with 500D, but we feel that the weight savings is definitely important and that's why we wanted to utilize it on something like a med pouch. So I'm going to basically walk through putting the components from our ETA kit into the pouch to show you how that works too. Um, but as you can see from the demonstration, it's really easy to grab that red pull handle, a nice one inch webbing strip, yank that down and get immediate access to your kit components. Um, these two wings each have a pocket in the sides here. Uh, you've got that large main pocket that will, that will hold um, our sealed ETA kit, as well as some of the components we'll show you in a second. So on the back, you've basically got your webbing here, and you've got webbing on the sides too when the kit is together, and I'll show you that here. Basically what you can do with the PALS webbing is mount things on the side, such as a Benchmade rescue hook, you can mount a tourniquet on the side. So the soft T wide tourniquets that we sell come with these black rubber bands and it's nice to just rubber band those into the side, a great way to hold the tourniquet onto the pouch. So we truly tried to integrate some, um, some different features in the pouch that will help you be able to hold other equipment that's typically used along with medical components. Also while I'm on that subject, you can take a pair of our shears and shove them in the back of your kit once it's mounted with the malice clips. 
Um, that's something that's typically done. Um, having three channels of PALS webbing on the back enables you to utilize that main inner channel to run shears just like that. So let's get into actually packing a kit and I'll show you how that works. What we've got is this is our standard kit here. All our ETA kits come with these bags here that do have a reclosable seal on them, which is nice. But if you do want to take out the components and have even easier access to them, you can strip it all down and put it into the kit, which I'm going to show you here. Let's pull everything out here. And you can save this bag because that comes in handy for some other medical things, such as a tension pneumothorax, which we won't go into in this video, but I just wanted to mention that. All right, so now that you got all your components dumped out here, um, the halo seals go nicely into the back, along with the combat gauze, as well as the surgical lube. It's used to lubricate NPA. And the MPA goes right into the side pocket here, followed by the Mojo Dart. It goes into the opposite side pocket. The casualty card go in the back here, along with our new ETA kit insert cards, which have the TCCC care under fire instructions on the back. Definitely something you might want to hang on to. Now what you're left with is the pencil, which you can store here in the uppermost section of webbing that runs there. You're left with the gloves, ace wrap, the Israeli dressing, and a Z-Pack dressing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend that all the way out. I'm just going to start weaving the shock cord here. Get some slack down towards the bottom here. our ace wrap in. That down. Take our Israeli. Tuck that in. Tighten that up. Try to pull myself a little more slack here. doing is opening up a little slack on the back here to finish tucking the CPAC dressing in. I'm just going to fold this over in half. Tuck around in the back. What you want to do is make sure that give yourself enough room on the sides there that everything fits in there nicely so everything's kind of streamlined you want to be careful of that um, gloves can just about be put anywhere really so we are using some new branding on our gloves as you can see here but this is the older style that a few kits still have so basically once you get everything put in there looks about like that so as you can see everything just folds up Tucks in nicely here. Additionally, it features some reverse zippers on the sides to keep the dirt and grunge out. Zippers come up on the sides. And there you have your sealed kit. So as I, as I was saying, it can hold either the loose components like that or it can hold the sealed ETA kit like this. So, that's essentially it. Um, a few of the other highlights that I kind of wanted to go over is that, again, it does include two malice clips, so don't think that you're not going to get an attachment system. And one of the biggest things that I've neglected to mention is this is completely made in the United States, not only by a United States company, Zulu Nylon Gear, it's made in the United States by U.S. workers, and it's Berry Amendment compliant, which, as you know, means that every everything that's utilized on this pouch is these are components that are made in America. So everything that's sewn from the thread to the Velcro um, to the loop and hook, 
um, to the binding tape. Everything is made in America. So that's a big feature we wanted to point out on this pouch and one that we're really trying to work diligently at with all of our products here at ITS. Um, really want to highlight that the product is made in America. So again, uh, one thing else that I didn't mention is that, as you can see, hopefully, it's got a 2 by 4 inch Velcro strip or loop Velcro strip for attaching patches and things like that. Um, you can attach your medical pal patches, you can attach uh, IR markers and things like that, blood type additional patches like that. Uh, the measurements are about seven inches tall when it's closed, about five and a quarter wide, and, two and a, roughly two and a half inches deep. Um, everything is quality sewn. The edges are all bound with uh, matching binding tape. So as you can see on the multicam pouches, uh, everything is nice and color coordinated. We've even utilized multicam loop. Uh, for true camouflage. So that is, has been the ETA trauma kit pouch from ITS Tactical, manufactured by Zoo Nylon Gear. Hope you enjoyed the brief review and let us know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching.